Hey everybody, today is October 8th, 2023, and we're here in Dewey Beach, Delaware. And the reason why we're out here today is to take a look at something I've been wanting to go up inside of ever since I was a little kid, and they finally restored one of these, and we can go up inside it. Today we're gonna to take a look at this amazing World War II lookout tower. These are all up the, the East Coast, and as a kid, driving down to Ocean City, Maryland, we would drive past these, and I would always think, man, it'd be so cool to go, yeah, are you cold? It's freezing. <laughs> I always thought it'd be so cool to go up inside one of these, and now we can actually do that. As you can see, there's one down there as well at the Cape Penelope State Park. There's a couple of them, I believe, once you drive down the road a little bit further, there's a few more. But this one here has been restored, and we can go up inside it. It's very windy. It's so cold. I'm gonna warn you, when we get to the top, <laughs> It's gonna be even windier, but the but the view <laughs> is gonna be amazing. Also, I should point out that um, if you are gonna come out here, parking is a little expensive. It cost me ten dollars because I'm an out-of-state vehicle. I think if you are in-state, it's maybe like half price, but it cost me ten dollars to park my car here. Going up in the the actual tower itself is is completely free, but uh, if you want to park, yeah, ten ten bucks. A little a little steep, Delaware. They have these plaques here telling you all about how the actual towers worked. It says, Standing Guard, built from 1939 to 1942, the 11 concrete observation towers along Delaware's coast were built to protect the shores during World War II and to last about 20 years. They are still standing after 60 years. The towers were the eyes for the guns of Fort Miles, located in what is now Cape Penelope State Park. Abandoned since the early 1960s, these sentinels once stood guard against German ships. So they were 13 of these all along the Delaware coast, along the Delaware Bay, looking for German Nazi ships. I don't believe they were ever actually, I don't believe they ever actually saw any German Nazi ships. I, the I, other side yeah, I read somewhere that they were never <laughs> actually like used for, for actually finding any ships. They, they, well, that's what they were, that's what they were being used for, but they never actually saw any, but we needed to protect our, our shoreline. I mean, it's them. It's a Delaware Bay. If, uh, if Nazi ships were coming, that's probably one area that they would, they would hit. So again, I've always wanted to climb one of these. And today, we're gonna do it. If only they were still heated like they were back then. <laughs> I don't believe they're heated now. <laughs> how, are your, how are your leg muscles feeling? Not right. <laughs> we, we got some climbing to do. Yeah, this plaque here says, although the towers never had to spot an enemy ship, those who served within them did so with honor and distinction. So again, they were built to look for ships. No ships were ever actually found. They were used for other things as well. Look at this. This one has a giant radar on top of it. That one had like a little shack on it. That is interesting. It says from uh, 1946 to 47, the U.S. Navy used Tower 5, shown, and 6 as stations to track test rockets. That's interesting. All right, I'm just... I'm. I'm stalling because <laughs> I know this is going to be a really tall climb. I was I was hoping you'd push me up the stairs because I am I am not in shape. Honestly, the towers are not really all that tall, but I know I know once you get inside, we're going to get about halfway up and realize that uh, even though they don't look that tall, they are a lot taller than uh, than we think. You actually have to walk down a little bit to get inside. Look at this, oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually finally going up inside one of these. Like I said, ever since I was a little kid, driving past these down to Maryland, I have so wanted to just touch these and go up inside one of these. And today we're doing it. Look, oh my gosh, look at this. Here we go. Remnants of past life. Unfortunately, the stove <gasps> Is no, it's no longer, it's no longer hooked up. Aww, aww. It's, it's, I miss you, Stone. So cool. It's, it's okay. It says in the cold winter months, soldiers in Tower Three found warmth from this brick chimney and the stove that connected to it. It was the tower's only heating source. Oh, how I wish that was still in here today. It is. It actually is a little, it's a little chilly. It's freezing. It's about yes. sixty degrees in Delaware, freezing. right now. But hey, like I said, good news. When we get to the top. It's gonna, it's gonna feel like it's like, it's gonna feel like it's 30. What? We'll be sweating from all the physical activity. I mean, that's true. You know, you know what? I like the way you think of it. We're gonna be nice and warm walking all the way up there. By the time we get up there, the, the, the breeze that's blowing upon us will actually feel pretty good. See? Power, power, power positivity. positivity. 
All right, here we go. So the good news is they've built this sort of spiral staircase going up the tower. This wasn't the case. It used to just be a, um, a ladder that she used to climb to go all the way up to the top. That would obviously not be safe anymore. They would not allow you to do that. But I mean, that's what you used to have to climb to get all the way up to the top. Just one giant ladder. You wanna talk about being the entire, did you imagine climbing a ladder? No. All the way up to the top? I mean, I'm having a hard time climbing a spiral staircase. I can't imagine having to climb a, a ladder all the way up there. We're about maybe halfway up the tower now. Maybe not quite halfway up the tower now. I'm not entirely sure. And there's this American flag blowing in the breeze. And it says, notice anything different about this American flag. It only has 48 stars representing the number of states in the Union in World War II. The style of flag was used from 1912 to 19. 59. That is pretty awesome. Again, I'm stalling because I, I, I don't, I don't want to keep, I'm going to read every single plaque just so I can stop. Are you, are you pushing me? Thank you. Thank you. I need, I need the push. I don't even know if we're halfway at this point, actually. We've reached another landing with another plaque and I'm stopping. This one says up to the task. This ladder is a replica of the one used during World War II. Soldiers climbed Ladders like this to move through the tower, a far cry from the spiral staircase beneath your feet. Yeah, I can only imagine climbing up all these ladders all the way to the very, very top. I would not want to do that. Am I up to the task? Well, could I physically do it? Yes. Would I want to? Would I be out of breath? Would I probably pass out by the time I got to the top? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm out of breath just climbing these, uh, these stairs here. The climb is a little, a little crazy, but I don't know. Something about it's not so bad. Another landing, another plaque. It says base and station. Soldiers at Fort Mills use carefully measured distances between two geographical points to calculate where to aim their guns. These points were called base and station. So I guess somehow they would measure, they, they, would, they would look out, they would see the German ships, and this base would say, okay, it's like that far, and the other base would say it was like this far, and then somehow they would triangulate the measurements and say, okay, the guns need to fire at yada yada lang lo longitude, lot a lot of longitude, or what, and they would, they would they'd fire the guns. <laughs> that sounds exactly right. Nailed Very it. Very technical. Technical, scientific. <laughs> Crushed it. Jargon. <laughs> We've almost made it to the very top. This is the last of these spiral staircase we have to go up, but just look at the, the view from here alone. That is awesome. You can see for miles and miles and miles. I'm seeing some ships out there. I, I don't know. German Nazi U-boats, maybe? I'm gonna call 911. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, last of the spiral staircase. Oh yeah, so we got about halfway up and Danielle informs me, I don't really like heights. I mean, think, things to mention when we're on the ground. It's, it's only like certain types of heights, like buildings that I could like fall off of. Well, I guess we're about to find out if this is a certain <laughs> kind of height for you or not. All right, well, you're leading the way. <laughs> oh my God, oh, it's really windy up here. Wow. But you know what? Worth it, look at that. This is the heights I'm afraid of. <laughs> These are the heights you're afraid of? I honestly don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me at all up here. It is so insanely windy, so I apologize for the fact that uh, the wind is probably destroying the audio of this video, but this is awesome. There is so much to see. Over there is the, the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, right over there. And over here is Rehoboth Bay. Look at that. Right down the road, you can see kind of off in the distance sort of right there there's towers that's sticking up that's the bridge that actually goes over the Indian River inlet that connects the, the ocean to the bay this is awesome I can't believe we're standing up here it's so pretty. this is so cool again something I, I just wanted to do ever since I was a little kid Li literally my entire life 41 years of my life I've wanted to do this and I'm finally getting to do it. This is so cool. This is awesome. Bucket list item, checked off. So to give you guys an idea of just how far off into the distance you can see from this tower, it says, look closely. You may see the 
the iconic Indian River Inlet Bridge five miles south of here. So that bridge is five miles away. It honestly doesn't look that far away. If you were to ask me how far is that bridge, I'd say, I don't know, what, maybe a mile or so? No, that's five miles away. So just think about how far off into the distance we're looking right now. I can see huge ships out there that look like micro machines. They are so tiny off in the distance, but we're probably seeing those ships that are like, what, 50 miles away or something at this point? That's five miles away. Those ships have got to be at least 50 miles off in the distance. So yeah, with some binoculars, you could totally see any ships coming towards us. I guess these towers were were a pretty good idea. Luck luckily, they never actually needed to be used for the purpose. No, we were never attacked, but still, I mean, they definitely did their job. All right, Danielle has informed me that she is terrified and cold and ready to go back down. So we're gonna climb back down the uh, the stairs. <laughs> I don't know if it was colder up there or in here now that we've come back down in because yes, up there it was very breezy, but we had the nice sun beating on us. In here, there's a slight breeze blowing from all the uh, the openings and there is no sun. It feels like you're in a concrete bunker. So I don't know, I'm actually I, thinking- I miss the stove. I, <laughs> I'm thinking I was warmer up top than I am in here. Danielle just informed me I'm not allowed to die <laughs> walking down the stairs. I actually almost tripped and, and fell, so I guess, I guess in all fairness, that warning is, is okay. So look at this, we're about halfway up right now. You can see out these little observation towers here. It's kind of weird how they're, they're designed like you were shooting out of them, but I don't think they actually had any. I mean, I guess maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe they would have been stationed with guns. I, I, su I suppose if the Germans were to actually have it landed and attacked, maybe they need to shoot out of these, I'm not entirely sure about, about that, but hopefully the, the guns at the, the forts would have taken care of any, any ships coming. But I guess if there were like 100 ships coming in, the guns would only do so much. So honestly, I think one of the things I love most about these towers and the reason why I've always wanted to climb one is because it reminds me of my dad. My dad used to tell me the history of these towers as we were driving past them, like li literally, Every single time we would drive past the towers, not just like, oh, hey, kids, look, and he would tell us the story once. Every single time we would drive down to Maryland for the, uh, for the evening, he would tell us a story about the towers. So I've heard about these towers so many times from my, my late dad. And uh, I don't know, just climbing them reminds me of him, which is always, it's always a plus to have something like this to remind you of, of your, your father, who you, you loved very much. And he would be, He'd be with me right now. He was here, climbing to the very top. Back down onto solid land. Are you, are you happy now? I am. No longer need to be, <laughs> to be terrified. But I think now that we are back down here, I may have found the most interesting thing about this entire tower. And that's if you bring hot dogs or hamburgers, you can have a cookout. So this is, this is weird. I would not have expected to find a grill right here next to the, uh, the station, so let it be known. It's gonna cost you $10 to park here if you're out of state. But if you bring some wieners with you, you can have a cookout. On the singular grill with the singular. With the singular pic, there's a, there's a picnic table as well. You, your whole family can have a little barbecue out here if you wanna climb the uh, the tower. You, you eat your wieners, you get your, your, your energy built up, and then you climb to the top of the tower and try not to puke once you get up there because yeah, my, my stomach is full of food right now. That climb would not have been it would have been good. Bad. There's like so many animals. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, Danielle is from Florida. So, uh, ants, they come out of ants, animals in Florida, it, fuck you. <laughs> ants in Florida are very different from ants in Pennsylvania. <laughs> to her, she's like, animals, no, run. No, we're, we're, we're good. We're okay. The ants are, the ants are all right. But um, yes, you, you are right. The, the climb wasn't it that wasn't bad. bad. It's just, I'm a 40 year old man who You're has been. 40. I'm, oh, I'm a 41 year old man who turned 41 yesterday who has been living off pizza all weekend. So that's why I had a difficult time getting to the top. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for tower number three here in Dewey Beach, Delaware. An amazing World War II observation tower to look out for the German. There's German boats coming coming into the Delaware Bay. That is awesome. Like I said, been wanting to climb one of these for the past 41 years. 
of my life. Finally getting to check that bucket list item off. I am pretty happy. I'm helping Danielle slowly get over her fear of heights <laughs> by climbing. You did pretty well up there. It was only the top with the very tiny <laughs> stairs that you could fall you, off of. You did pretty well at the top of that. So helping Danny get over her fear <laughs> of heights. That was awesome. That was amazing. If you have ever climbed to the top of this tower or any of these towers all along the, the East Coast, leave your comments down below or maybe you had a grandfather or a father or an uncle who was stationed in one of these. Also, leave your comments down below. We'd love to hear about that. But all right, guys, with that, we are done. Going to get back into the van. It's very chilly. It's very windy. It's very freezing. We're cold. So as always, thanks you guys, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show and they keep the show going. So I really do, whew, I really do appreciate that. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, let's do hashtag. Um, I have no idea what today's hashtag should be. Hashtag. We're freezing? <laughs> I don't know, Hash, that's because my brain's not working right now. Hashtag, we're freezing. If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end. And also, check down below for a link to... Danny at Disney on Instagram. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Let's get back in the van. I'm, 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 I'm freezing right now. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.